Yes, sir. Meanwhile, uh, as we just told you, there is a terror threat forcing many U.S. embassies to close this weekend. And as we also mentioned, it has been expanded to a worldwide travel warning for Americans. The State Department instructing several embassies typically open on Sundays, including those in Cairo and Baghdad, to shut down this weekend. An official saying the threat is serious and credible and that an al-Qaeda affiliate might be plotting an attack in the coming days. Ambassador John Bolton is the former U.S. ambassador to the U.N. and a Fox News contributor. Hello, Mr. Ambassador. Good morning, Allison. Okay, so let's talk about this threat to our embassies and embassies uh, throughout the Middle East. What do you know about this threat? Well, I think the fact that the embassies and several consulates in the region are being closed on Monday, which is normally a working day in the Muslim world, uh, shows that this information is pretty serious, that the, that the threat is serious. So they don't want Americans or others coming to work. They, they want to try and reduce the vulnerability of the facilities and the individuals by keeping them uh, uh, dispersed at their residences and, and so on. And I think the travel warning that's now been added actually adds information. Very interesting. It says that it's al-Qaeda and associated groups that they're worried about and that the threat uh, might be manifested in an attack in or emanating from the Arabian Peninsula. So the talk we've heard recently about uh, reducing al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula's reach and strength obviously misplaced. I think it's also important to, that the travel warning now tells all American citizens, not just government officials, but all Americans in the region, I think really beginning right now, that they need to be worried. And this travel warning extends through August the 31st. So that's a, that's a significant period of time and, and I think indicates pretty good information, uh, even if they're not being specific about, uh, about exactly what it is. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, how do you think we picked up on this new chatter, if that's what it is that tipped us off? Well, I think this is very significant given the controversy over the NSA's programs and, and uh, foreign intelligence gathering. This is actually what NSA does. We don't know specifically, obviously, where the intelligence came from, but all that monitoring of uh, emails and Internet websites and uh, phone calls, uh, th this, is, this is what American intelligence is supposed to do. We spy on foreigners. And I think the greatest... Uh, criticism one can make of our foreign intelligence gathering is, is that there's not enough of it. Hmm. Uh, let's turn our attention to Iran. The president-elect of Iran has some choice words for Israel. And if we were hoping for some toned-down rhetoric, it looks like we'll be disappointed because he's just said that uh, Israel is an old wound on the body of the Islamic world that should be removed. That was his quote. What are we to make of his statements? Yeah, well, that's, that, that is the new moderate who's about to be sworn in as president of Iran on Sunday. Now, uh, the Iranian news agency has tried to say since that quote went out from the Iranian news agency that it was misquoted or misconstrued or something. Uh, I think they actually uh, did the Tehran version of the Washington gaffe, which is telling the truth about what Hassan Rouhani, the incoming Iranian president, actually believes. Uh, I think anybody uh, who thinks that the new regime, the new president in Iran, is going to fundamentally change their policy uh, is badly uh, misguided. Uh, I think he wants to get relief from the sanctions, but there'll be no backing away from the Iranian nuclear weapons program. Make no mistake about that. Even though, of course, he did pledge to follow a, quote, path of moderation, as well as greater openness over Iran's nuclear program. So you think that none of that was actually genuine? Right. I think he's following the P.T. Barnum doctrine, which is there's a sucker born every minute. Mm. Uh, Ambassador John Bolton, great to see you. Thank you.